Every generation will not be confused. There is a generation that will get this thing. Say the compressed coffee from that day. The creative dimension of the prophetic. There must be a performance because. That we must engage if we want to be led of God and led by God. Tonight I will give us five and please every time I call us to pray because we're going to be praying as I teach. I want you to pray with all your heart if and when I request that you do so. It is true that God leads but you see God does not lead everybody unfortunately he wants to lead everybody. Everybody especially in Christ can have access to the guidance and the leadings of God. But there are conditions that must be met. Otherwise, you can never truly enjoy the leadings of God. Are you ready? Write this down first in your heart before you pen it down on paper. Number one, the first key to enjoying the shepherdhood, the leadings of God, is admit that you are limited. Please write it down. The first key to enjoying and accessing God as your shepherd is to admit that you are limited. 1 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 9. The Bible clearly tells us there that we, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, not 3, my apologies, 13 and verse orientation, you are still limited. We pride in all kinds of things. I've traveled to Europe, I've traveled to America, I have a PhD and that is wonderful of person. The meek, the Bible says, will he guide in judgment? Not the needy, not the one who is in need of guidance. The meek, you know what it means to be meek? Meekness is a, is a spiritual quality, it's a state of brokenness where you understand that I am limited. Another word for meekness is teachability. Hallelujah. The ability to be teachable lord i thank you for that which you have given me but i admit i do not know everything please give us that scripture again the meek will he guide in judgment and he says the meek will he teach his ways so could it be that the reason why many people are unable to access the leadings of god and the ways of god is because there is a desire to know but there is no meekness Admit that you are limited. As a man of God, admit that you are limited. As a businessman, admit that you are limited. Admittance is such a difficult thing for us, especially in our civilization today, because psychologically for many of us, we translate admitting limitations to mean that we are mediocre, to mean that we are not much. So everybody likes to give... Um, a, give an attitude of invincibility to the degree to which you give a, a picture of a superman that seems to be the degree to which a generation will listen to you and be loyal to you unfortunately as far as destiny is concerned that is absolute nonsense Jesus who was the word incarnate as soon as he arrived by age 12 with no sense of shame and embarrassment he marched straight to the temple to go and learn you would think this was the person that the scripture was all about imagine jesus sitting in the temple and listening to them this was the word of god bound in earthly flesh i can imagine the doctors of the law saying do you understand this young man and he says yes sir the meek will he guide for someone here God is already speaking to you the reason why you have not been able to make progress is pride the inability to come before the Lord and say father I do not know much would you teach me what's that song spirit lead me where my trust help me let me walk upon the water 
of God you must admit that you are limited father thank you in spite of the Bible school in spite of the seminary in spite of all the books that I've read I, I come before you expressing my ignorance and my limitations except you lead me I cannot lead these great people you see why the request of Solomon touched the heart of God how do you come to a man in the night and now give him an open check Solomon would have said that there are five kings that have threatened me. Oh God, kill them for me. Give me rest. And Solomon said, I am but a young man. I do not have the ability to lead this so great a people. Would you grant unto your servant an understanding heart? And the Bible says God was impressed. He was touched. For someone here, if you will only humble yourself before the mighty hand of God, even now the remaining days of this year what god will do in your life will dwarf many years put together the meek will he guide there are many proud men of god there are many proud business people there are many people failing woefully and yet they will not listen and open up their heart to see the need to be guided there are people who are poor and broke and they will not listen. The moment you want to talk about money, they want to contribute as colleagues. You are not getting it. It's not working in your life. There are people who are not doing well in ministry. As a principle, any area I don't have so much result, I'm usually silent. I don't, I don't, I only speak from the abundance of knowledge with results. Our world today is full of commentators, commentators without results. When you know how football is and so just pass now the person who is talking now has not been able to achieve anything and yet he's insulting someone whose weekly payment is his lifetime desire are we together now you must admit someone is having a small business for instance maybe you, you are just selling two or three items and only five people come to buy it and now you are giving all kinds of i think Shoprite can do like this i think this one can this people they are not really very wise if it was me and yet you have your own result there and absolutely nothing is working can i tell you in the name of jesus i pray that anything that represents pride eating up your potential for rising to a, the next level i curse it from your life right now The meek will he guide in judgment. There are people who don't know anything about marriage, yet they are the first to comment on everything. They are the first to give lectures and give all kinds of orientation. There are people who don't know anything about finances and favor. There is zero manifestation of favor. Not one, not two, zero. And yet they can say anything about favor. There are people who don't know jack about the anointing. And yet they will want to teach you dimensions and dynamics. And those who are really anointed are just hearing. And watching the gap in knowledge. Garnished with pride. Is God helping someone? You must admit that you are limited. That is not negative confession. It is not demeaning what God has done in your life. With brokenness, there is something I do not know. Lord, guide me. The meek will he guide. The moment I've taught you this, when God finds humility and finds brokenness, something there has to be something up about this my financial situation I, i've done my best your best does not mean that is all to be done it is just the best you know based on your knowledge do you know let me tell you ignorance and pride can make simple things so difficult so difficult 
Apostle, I can drive. Okay, let someone who can drive help you. No, no, no. I've been driving for a long time. It's just I've not had the opportunity to go to the road. Just give me the car. You come back with two headlamps. Paul said it was just a slight mistake. You cannot, you are not getting this thing. It's as simple as that. Apostle, I can cook. Three hours, you are still roaming around in the kitchen. Nothing is done. Nothing is set. You are not even sure again of what you are doing. It was just a mistake. I think the stove or the... the <clears throat> Our standard of knowledge in this ministry is mastery. Until you are there, you are not yet there. Don't say I know to what degree. Are we together now? Yes. Admit that you are limited as a man of God. Spirit of the living God, I cry for your wisdom. I admit I do not know. I am limited. I can learn. I can do this, but I am limited. The Lord is nigh them that call upon him. Humility. Number two, very quickly. Is someone learning? What is the second key to accessing the leadings and the guidance of God? Pray earnestly for divine direction. Pray earnestly for divine direction. Listen, when it has to do with direction, it is a risk to assume. The devil can open a door for you that you will think it is God. I've taught you even the prison has a door. Before you enter the prison, a door must be open. So just because a door is open, you need to verify where that door is going. There are some doors that are going into prison. Pray earnestly for divine direction. First Samuel chapter 30 and verse 8. First Samuel 30 and verse 8. And David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue after this troop? I hope you know the man who is speaking was a warrior. Already had the arsenals to bring victory. But he said, no assumption. Shall I pursue after this troop? Shall I overtake them? And the Lord answered him, Pursue, for thou shalt surely overtake them and without fail recover. It is powerful when you are running with a sure word. You don't see challenges on your way because you know that God, listen, it is vain it to wake up in the morning, is that in your Bible, and to sleep late in the night, only to eat the bread of sorrow. Just because you have money does not mean you should start business. No, the presence of capital is not a green light to start. No, we make all kinds of flimsy mistakes and we keep repeating it. That's why God has sent you to the house of God. Can I tell you, when you are physically prepared, you stand the risk of making more mistakes because all the factors are there. Chances are excellent you will not respect the excellency of his voice. Shall I pursue shall i overtake and the lord says since you paid attention to my leadings go ahead and pursue you shall surely overtake and without fail recover all thank you for watching our entire video today if you feel you can bless someone please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media